Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man Daisy's Kanji Study Streams. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N2 list here for you tonight. As always, we've got uh, new kanji that we'll see in this list that we'll write down 10 times on stream. Go over the radicals in the kanji to see how it makes this uh, meaning. The, me the reading for that kanji and what it means exactly. If we see a new word but it's made of old kanji we already know, like bukatsu or club activities then uh, we're just going to go over the meanings of each kanji and how they come together to make our new word. And in a lot of cases, it's pretty obvious. If you want to watch this at your own pace and don't want to follow along writing, head on over to YouTube. And if you just want these word lists, head on over to the Google Drive. Our first word for the night is a kashi ya. Kashi on the left side to lend and ya on the right side for a house. This is a house for lending or a lending house. Kashi ya is a house for rent. Kashi ya desu. A kashi ya is a house for rent. 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 Kashi ya. Kasia this. is a house for rent. Number two is a zodai. Zo on the left side to increase, and dai on the right side is big. So a increase too large is an enlargement or an increase. A zodai. Zodai is a increase to largeness or an enlargement. Zodai. Zodai this. Zodai. Zodai is an enlargement or an increase. Literally an increasing too big, an increasing bigness. Zodai is an enlargement. Zodai. Number three is gori teki. Gori is a merging of logics, meaning a, a rationality or to be reasonable. And teki is our uh, suffix kanji here, making it um, an adjective. Gori teki. It is rational, reasonable, or logical. Gori teki is rational, reasonable, or logical. Gori teki. Gori teki. Is rational, reasonable, or logical. Gori teki. Gori teki. Is rational, reasonable, or logical. Gori teki. Gori teki desu. Gori teki. Number four is suru, to print, to color, or pattern with a wooden mold, specifically cloths. This is referring to uh, staining cloths with a with a wooden mold, but it could also just mean to print. Suru from our kanji, uh, which also just means printing. So to print is suru. Suru is to print. Suru. Suru is to print. Suru. We learned this kanji once before with um, insatsu, which is a stamping, impressioning, or printing. Suru. Suru is to print. It can also be referred to specifically printing woodblock colors onto clothing or cloth. Suru is to print. Suru is to print. Number five is our new kanji, ueru. Ue is one reading for this. Also, ki, which means hungry or to starve, which is exactly what our verb means for today. Ueru, to starve, to be famished, to be hungry or thirsty. Ueru. Radicals in this kanji are food on the left side, and on the right side we have a table or a desk. So food on the table, 
that you're not eating, meaning the food is not in your stomach, it's still on the table, means you are hungry and starving. Food on the table means you must be hungry. Ki, okani ueru, is hungry or starving. Ki, okani ueru. Ki, or ueru, is hungry or starving. Ueru. Famished. It can also mean, uh, metaphorically speaking, you might be hungry for something, knowledge, ambition, power, money, you know, something that kind of Westerners would say they're hungry for, you know, stay hungry. Ueru hokani ki is fame, famished, starving. Ueru or ki is hungry or starving. Ueru or ki. If food is ue on the tsukue, or the table, then you are hungry and starving. Ueru hokani ki. Ueru is to be famished, hungry, or starving. For something or just actually starving. <laughs> Number six is zuke, which is a drawing of a shape. A drawing of a shape is a figure, a shape, or a graphic. I like graphic for this. A zuke is a graphic. Zuke is a graphic. Zuke is a graphic. Zuke. Zuke is a graphic. Zuke is a graphic. Zuke. Number seven is a yobun. Yo on the left side, meaning foster, bringing up, or nurturing, and bun on the right side, meaning a part of that nurturing or development. A yobun is a nourishment or a nutrient. Yobun, this is a nutrient or a nourishment. Yobun. Yobun is a nutrient or a nourishment. A yo, a nurturing part, is a nutrient or a nourishment. Yobun this. Yobun is a nutrient or a nourishment. Yobun is a nutrient or a nourishment. Yobun. Yobun is a nutrient or a nourishment. Number eight is an easy one with cemento. Cemento is just cement. Directly from the English word, cemento is cement. Is cement. Cemento. Cemento is cement. Cemento is cement. Cemento is cement. Number, number nine is a kosen. Ko on the left side for light and sen on the right side for a line. A line of light is a beam, a light ray, a kosen. Kosen, literally translated a light line for a beam of light, a kosen. Kosen is a beam of light. Kosen. Kosen is a beam of light. A kosen is a beam of light. Kosen this. Kosen.
Cool Sen is a beam of light. Number 10 is Bu Katsu. Bu is a part or a section, in this case, a club. And Katsu on the right side is activity or livelihood or living of that club. So Bu Katsu is literally translated, literally translated a club activity or a part or section activity. A Bu Katsu. Bu Katsu are club activities. Clubs are big things in uh, Japanese high schools, so something you should know if you're not watching lots of media and anime in anime or in um, Japanese things you should probably start doing that so you can know some cultural stuff club activities are way bigger in Japan than they are in the US Bukatsu Bukatsu are club activities Bukatsu Bukatsu. Number 11 is Sun Po. Po on the right side, meaning a way, manner, or means, a method or a law. And Sun on the right side is the Japanese word for the, it was the originally Japanese inch, but now it kind of kind of means, it's come to kind of mean measurement instead of just specifically the Japanese inch. Sun, this is its own radical which just means measurement or the Japanese inch. Sun of Sun Po is, so this kanji literally translates to the inch law or inch order of a thing, meaning it's measurement size, dimension, plan, intention, or arrangement. The Sun Po is a measurement or arrangement. New kanji Sun for the Japanese inch. Soon is the Japanese inch, but can also mean a measurement. Soon is the Japanese inch or a measurement. Soon this. Together with pole, we have the soon pole or the inch measurement or inch law of something. The measurement or arrangement of it. Soon pole. And finally, finally we have ogi nau, which comes from the kanji for supplementing which means to supplement to make up for or to compensate for a lack of something else in another area supplement or make up for oginao oginao from our kanji for supplementing oginao oginao is to supplement or make up for oginao oginao Oginau is to supplement or make up for. Oginau. Oginau. Let's go back to the top. Make sure we've memorized all these for right now. Remember to immerse yourself in Japanese as much as you can. Watch some TV. Watch some anime. Get get yourself some Japanese mangas or books, and uh, make sure you make flashcards to go over these in Anki style. Our first word of the day was a house for rent, or a kashiya, literally a rented house. Kashiya is a house for rent, or to loan out. Kashiya. An enlargement or an increase is a zouka. Zo on the left side for an increase. And, I'm sorry, zodai. And dai on the right side for large. A large increase is an enlargement or an increase. Rational, reasonable, or logical is go ri teki. Go on the left side for coming together. Ri in the middle for logic. And teki on the right side to make this noun an adjective. Rational, go ri teki. To color a pattern with a wooden mold or to print is suru. With our kanji for printing from insatsu, which also means to print. Suru is to print. To starve or be famished, to be hungry or thirsty for, for example, knowledge, comes from our um, kanji ki for starving, which has the radicals for food on the left side and table on the right. Ueru, ueru, pronounced ueru, or ki. Ueru is to be famished or starving or to be hungry for something specific, like knowledge. Ueru, ueru this. Ueru. 
Next, we have a figure shape or graphic with a zu k zu on the left side for to draw and k on the right side for a shape. A drawing of a shape is a graphic. A zu k nourishment or a nutrient is a yo boon yo on the left side for to nurture or a nurturing and boon on the right side for a part. A yo boon is a nutrient or a nutritional part. Yo boon. I think we had cement next. Cemento. Cemento is cement. Cemento. A light beam or light ray is a ko sen. Ko on the left side for light. And sen on the right side for a line of it. A ko sen is a light beam or light ray. Club activities are bukatsu. Bu on the left side for a part or department. And katsu on the right side for activities or liveliness, bukatsu, are club activities. A measurement size or dimension of something is its sunpo, or the law of its measurement, its sunpo, using the new kanji for the Japanese inch. And finally, to supplement, to make up for, or to comp compensate for is oginau. Oginau is to supplement or compensate for. Oginau from our kanji for supplementing. Thanks for watching this Sunday, everybody. I hope you have a good Labor Day tomorrow, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita.